The Raiders and Broncos rivalry is as bitter today as it was in its heyday in the 70s, when an established Oakland team clashed with the up-and-coming Broncos. We had to beat the Raiders. Guys that were injured would get ready to play against the Raiders because we need everybody we could to play the Raiders. I think they hated us more. Hey, I hate the Raiders. I hate them. Oakland Raiders, I hate them. <laughs> Who didn't hate the Raiders, right? <laughs> but then again, they were easy to hate. They dressed in black. Uh, which made them look bigger than life. Uh, they had some guys who were real characters on that ball club. And I think that physically, I had never run into a ball club like that when we, when we began to play. The only way a rivalry ever heats up is, is both teams are good. When Denver was down, it wasn't a good rivalry. Denver didn't stay down long, sparked by the emergence of their hard-hitting defense. But hard hits were old hat for the Raiders. When they released the ball, Tatum hit him. It was unbelievable. The contact and the sound that I heard. He was angry. I said, man, great hit. What, what's wrong? He said he didn't drop the ball. Who was public enemy number one for the Raiders? I think probably <laughs> the most despised Bronco uh, probably at that time was uh, probably a guy named Tom Jackson. Well, quite naturally on Denver, there was no guy on the field that had a bigger and louder mouth than Tom Jackson. Tom Jackson was a tremendous athlete that talked all the time, always jawing, always to trash talk. And I can't ever remember coming out of that locker room without telling them, I intend to kick your ass today. Jackson's bluster was backed up when the Broncos finally blew away the Raiders in Oakland. They were ahead of us, beating us last quarter and they had a chance to go for a field goal. Mark Braden comes up and he says, and I mean he was serious, man. Coach, it's time for that play. And I said, Coach, what the hell play are you talking about? He said, well, the play we practiced this week, uh, you know, where we fake the field goal and throw to Jim. And he looked at me with those eyes and he said, Coach, it'll work. And I looked at him back with an even stare. And I said, Coach, it damn sure better work. Jim in his big black top shoes, black high top shoes, he's running down the left sideline. I mean, there is nobody within miles. Turner wide open, catches the ball of the 15th. He'll score a touchdown. The grand old man has done it. Denver's orator extraordinaire exulted in victory at Coach Madden's expense. He ran by their bench and the famous quote, he says, It's all over, fat man. I said, that's it. It's done. Further fuel for the rivalry's fire was added by Denver's fanatical fans. That Orange Crush group was tough in Denver. They were very tough. They would know, you know, when you were getting ready to go out and stuff, and they'd start stamping their feet. You know, and you're trying to talk, you know, oh, you know and you'd boom, 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 boom. And you'd have to go out the door and they'd throw stuff at you. They would just pelt you with everything they had up there. We got bombarded by about 30, 40 snowballs, you know, and, you know, we turned around, all the people are booing and cussing at us. Get the hell away from me, Jack, they're throwing at you. I said, no, John, they're throwing at you. The defining moment of this matchup came in 1977. We knew that this was going to be the ultimate uh, test for this franchise. Haven Moses had saved his best for the best, catching five passes for 168 yards and two decisive touchdowns. Uh, Haven Moses is the first thing that comes to mind. His long catch down the sideline, uh, uh, initial uh, moments, opening minutes of the game, uh, starts to put us in a frame of mind and yeah, we can get this done. When Oakland recovered a fumble by Rob Lytle and the officials awarded the ball to the Broncos, Raider Ranker reached a boiling point. And the following day in the Oakland Tribune, here's the big picture with the fumble clearly out of his hands while he was trying to jump across the line. For Denver, the emotion from that game transcends time. We have had championship teams, we've had Super Bowl teams, but that first one, uh, I don't think anyone will ever forget that.